Okay, today we're going to draw um, the prairie dog habitat, which is in the grasslands known as the prairies. And I thought we could actually show their town. And their town is made up of burrows that they um, create underground and they're full of tunnels and different rooms. And each room has a purpose and they're actually called chambers. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do kind of a light line across the top and then I'm gonna show the tunnels underground. So this is all just kind of like grass up here. So you can um, go back and add some color, maybe some sky. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start on this side and I'm going to make a tunnel that goes down. And then there's going to be just little rooms off to the sides of some of these tunnels. So I'm just every now and again going to do a little room and then add some more tunnels. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is kind of stop and go back and finish some tunnels because if you start doing too many crazy lines and rooms, you're going to forget where you're at. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to add some more detail. Now there's actually many, many openings or doors for the prairie dogs to go in and out because if they just had one, then they'd be trapped. Um, now I didn't leave myself any room to continue on. So I'm just gonna erase a little bit. So I always start with pencil and then I'm just going to add some more tunnels going off this direction. Um, and then we'll start labeling some of these rooms in a second. Okay, so whoop, I'm gonna make one more tunnel, I think, going up to the top over here. Okay, now at the very top right here, where the doors are to go into the tunnels. This is called a mound, and that's where the dirt rises up a little bit. So I'm going to make my dirt rise up a little bit um, where the tunnels begin. Okay, and then I can just kind of erase the line underneath if you want to really make this detailed. That's why I love pencil, you can erase. Okay, so, Notice that there's one chamber right here that is really close to the surface, um, but not quite. This is what's known as an emergency exit. So if all the mounds or all the tunnel openings, there's danger or something, this is their emergency exit. So I'm going to label that right here, emergency exit. And hopefully you can see this okay. I know I'm writing kind of small. All right, so then there's different bedrooms or rooms that they sleep in. So I'll label bedroom. And hopefully you can, um, if you're using an iPad to watch this, hopefully you can zoom in so you can see some of these a little bit better or you can pause and you can zoom in. Um, there's going to be a nursery down towards the bottom. They don't want the nurseries very close to the um, surface level where the ground is because there could be predators. So they want to keep the nursery kind of as far down as they can. And it also helps keep them warm um, when it's cold outside or it keeps them cool when it's hot outside too. Okay. Um, they also have like a their version of a kitchen, I guess. So this would be like the food room. And just like the squirrels, we learned that when they store their nuts in a hollow of a tree, it's called a cache. So same thing with this chamber, it's a food cache. And it's C-A-C-H-E, but it's pronounced cache. Um, so this, this is an entrance, entrance, entrance. So I'm just gonna say a door right here and here and here. Um, and then Let's say we have our emergency exit. So um, these guys, the longer tunnel, they're considered air vents and it helps with the airflow. So I'm going to write that here, air vents. And I'm gonna to point to both of them. So the longer tunnels right here, they're considered um, air vents. And we have our nursery. Um, and then maybe just another like food storage or bedroom here, you can decide. And you can do as many rooms as you want. 
and then you can color it in and you can even add maybe a few little um, prairie dogs crawling around inside or on top too. Up to you. All right, there is our prairie dog burrow home habitat.